as you mentioned that we practice Sanatan Dharma and the primary focus is to uh, build the relationship, a relationship not only based on family or um, gender or the nationality or the color, um, but actually to reach out to build a relationship that the whole world is one family. When we think about the religion, a religion is a quite a old institution. And within the religious institution, we have acquired a lot of viruses. Um, when we think about religious uh, you know, uh, freedom of religion, we are seeing that there aren't many other people who are uh, preventing religious people to practice what they want to practice. It is the other religion that actually prevents. Because the books uh, that has been written down long ago, uh, they promote hate. So even though we can actually try to come up with the idea that we want to serve the people where we live, and that's exactly what we do, but within our own institution, maybe in different country, some people can act violently and in the name of religion, and th those kind of act uh, disturb the community that you are living right now. And when you are living in the community and you keep continuously promoting the old ideology of your religion, and basically that there is a hell for people who don't believe in your religion, and that the people who should, you know, who are not part of your religion should be killed. Those kind of ideas they get ingrained in people, and the people don't feel uh, ease when they hear those kind of ideas. So more and more people, actually uh, common people, they begin to see the religion as a biggest threat. Uh, right now, the history or even in the present situation, we see. Um, head, heads are being chopped off by religious practitioners. And none of the religious leader comes out and apologize and say that, you know, this is not what we want to teach. And, we, and also they do not condemn even their own text that teaches the violence because we take the religious books as like a, some superior power has told us and those are the 100% accurate. So it is important for us to acknowledge that there is a problem in the religion, uh, every single major religion. And there's another problem with the religion, the religion, even though it says that we don't want to be part of the politics, but majority of the countries that runs even today in 21st centuries are basically influenced by the religion. And that's the reason why, if you look at the problem that in America we have, it is not from the people who live here, it is the religious people. Uh, even though religion is supposed to be out of the politics, but whenever there is a elections happening, all the religious figures comes out and they are always looking for their rights. So the common people, they basically are seeing the hypocrisy within the religious institution and they are not feeling comfortable even if you come up with the planning that you are not doing exactly what the religious people do, we are trying to come up with the common theme. Uh, the common people actually are thinking this is a set because that's how every single major religions have tricked people in the past. So there is no trust. So unless we come up and we say, we have a problem in our religion, we promote violence, our religions uh, hide people who have done uh, rapes to the children. Our religion is still practice the caste system. Our religion is still is the issue for the uh, women's rights, uh, for the rights of the uh, gays and other practitioners. So we do have uh, issues and we have to recognize the religion is basically not doing a justification of um, of asking for more rights. Um, and that's basically the starting point where we can come up and we can own some problems that we have. And we have to say, we want to condemn 
the problem that we have so that way we can actually honestly, truly serve the community that we live in. If you look at the nonprofit organizations, they serve so much. They never ask for their rights. All around the world they serve and people don't hate them. People come along with them. But the religious people, nobody trusts them right now. And that's the biggest issue. Unless we begin to change among ourselves and only we hide behind the rights, we will not be able to survive. And in fact, at some point, it will be the time the, go the common people will actually have to make their decision. So now having this discussion gives us opportunity to really see the problem that we have within ourselves and be able to honestly, openly say that this is what we have a problem. And if we don't acknowledge the problem, we're not gonna find the solution. So with that said, I thank you.